Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you guys how you can fix one of the WordPress critical errors. I was unable to go inside the admin panel to fix this because I got the error whenever I tried to go inside the admin panel. The error I got is that there has been a critical error on this website. I think it happened because of the WordPress automatically updated my version. I have installed some of the old version plugins and some of the plugins are not even getting any recent updates. So what happened was, there has been a mismatch of the versions and compatibility issues, which resulted in this error. So for us to get back to our admin panel, we need to disable all the plugins. Since we can't use the admin panel to do that, we need to go inside our web hosting control panel and do the configuration from there. Before we get into the solution, please make sure to take a full backup for your website. Just to ensure if you mess up with anything, then you can always revert back. So right now, I'm on my web hosting control panel. Now we have to go inside the phpMyAdmin. Once we go inside of that, we have to go inside the database of our WordPress website. From there, we have to find the vp underscore options table. But sometimes, it might be a little bit different but similar. For me, it shows like vpyg underscore options. Once we got inside, we have to find a line called active underscore plugins. And we have to change its value to zero. The line will looks like this. and you only have to change its number value to zero. Once it's been saved, try to go inside your admin panel and this time it will work. What we did is that we changed the database value which disabled all the plugins from our website. Now we can manually review our plugins which actually made that error. We can either remove them or try to fix that plugin or replace it with different one. I actually figured out what actually caused this mess. It's kind of like a PHP error instead of a plugin. It happened because of my current PHP version is no longer supported for it. So I had to change the website's PHP version to the latest one. This configuration only can be done inside the web hosting control panel. Before all that, my PHP version was 5.6 and after this incident, I changed my PHP version to 8.1. So most of my errors are got fixed and I updated all my plugins and everything is working fine. And I hope this helps you guys. Please like this video and share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.